Hey, let's take a look at a 2024 new vehicle. I really dig the color so far. Uh, normally I wouldn't, but there's something strangely awesome about this vehicle. For 2024, it's number 35 out of 250. For the Hot Wheels Modified group, it's four out of 10. This one is called Drift and Brake. So I'm sure that Timmy Stinnigan's gonna love this one since it has the word drift in the title. On the back, the copyright has not changed since 2021. It's not a real vehicle, evidently, because its designer is Hot Wheels. Drift and Brake is uh, 2023 El Segundo, California. And it is partly wagon, partly real. Silver Hawks. Wait, hold on. Partly wagon, part coupe. Okay. Um, get behind the wheel and drift your cargo. <laughs> Don't know if I want to drift with cargo in my car. With this V8 powered muscle car. That's a shooting brake version of a legendary fast fish. Hmm. So for modifieds, it's customized cars with features like big spoilers, body kits. I was beside of a Lamborghini one time. It wasn't a real one though, I, it was a body kit. And other cool upgrades for personalized styles. All right, so let's take a look at this beauty out of the uh, packaging. Now, I, I think it's an interesting vehicle and the green would normally turn me off, but I'm kind of digging it. So let's go ahead and measure it first. We want to see how long this thing is. From the back to the front, it's uh, just just short of three inches long. I would say three and seven eighths. All right, for the, everybody else in the world, we going from the back to the front. We got it being just over seven centimeters long. Uh, almost exactly seven centimeters if I get it correctly here. I'd say about 7.2 centimeters long or 72 millimeters, depending on which way you like to look at that. So it's got a lot of clear plastic, which I like that. It's very futuristic looking because I don't think that would really work in real life. Um, I've said that about other cars with clear plastic over the engines. Uh, let's see, we got a layer of black plastic on the bottom. We got the green metal, that's all metal on the top. We got a, a layer, it looks like chrome, but they don't have any chrome etching out the front and back, which is weird because normally, well, if you can look through that little tiny window right there, you'll see that it's chrome silver. Normally they use the chrome silver on the bumper as well, just to kind of give it more, I mean, obviously you're, you're chroming it for a reason. And then we got a smoky translucent layer. So there's four layers on this thing. We only have one color that's tampo the side of it. It looks very like Beretta for some reason. I'm, the word Beretta's popping in my head. I feel like, I feel like most people it's a palm reader. The word Beretta's popping in my head. Maybe the word Starsky and Hutch too. I don't know, it gives me a very 70s vibe for some reason. I don't quite, can't quite put my finger on what this is reminding me of it. It's kind of a future car set in the past, or maybe uh, maybe I watched something as a kid in the 70s and it just, for some reason, it looks like it. I'm not saying like Star C and Hunch or Beretta, but like Logan's Run. I don't know. It gives me that weird vibe that it's somebody from the 70s designed a car in the future. And I like it. I'm not complaining. I'm not saying, eh, that's just that weird. No, I, I actually dig it, man. All right, so this was made in Malaysia. So let me know if it gives you any kind of feeling at all. Like, I mean, that's what I'm really feeling like it's something set, somebody from the seventies drawing something in the future, you know, that like, this is the car of the future, you know, in the year 2000, that kind of thing. So I see how this thing rolls because honestly, Hot Wheels, I like to look at them, but some people like to roll. Them. It's got a very loud rolling sound, but it's a heavy vehicle. It's, it's mostly metal. But it does kind of sound hollowish. Hmm. It's a smooth roller. I think it's smooth. It drifts really well, which I don't try to drift. I just try to make it park. Wow, he drifts a little too easy. All right, let me see if I can get it to park. Okay, close enough. So the, also the translucent glass in the back, I'm trying to look and see what's in the back that I'm supposed to be seeing. Like, is there a little puppy back there looking at me? Because on some of those SUVs, there's little like Easter eggs in the back. You got to really look for but I don't quite see anything in there. Uh, let's see if I can use my light to shed some light on it. Wow, I can see a lot better now. So all I see is a metal bar holding together the top to the, the spree right there. So that's the only thing I see. In the front and that's the translucent part which kind of gives it like that's a big cylon headlight like i can see it go kind of like kit from knight rider so what do you think i mean this for me the thing i like about this is it, it gives me ideas that i can like make i don't 
how do I explain it to you? When I was a kid, I didn't play with cars like other kids play with cars. I played with them like they were superheroes. Like this was a sentient being. That's why when Kit came along, I was like, oh my gosh, they stole my idea. So for me and Transformers and everything else, it's somehow or another, I already had that concept. Like I had a car that had a spider on it and I used to pretend like it was a spider car and you can climb up walls and, and uh, there was these three holes and I know spiders have four legs, but whatever, four legs on each side. And I would pretend like it had little like tentacles that came out to help it to climb and stuff. So I'm giving these like vibes that this can do some kind of really cool I say things like it has like maybe it rides on energies of beam and I don't know my 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 creativity is just exploding looking at this car. Tell me what you think when you look at this car because I oh I see the chrome right there too. I see lots of things on this thing I like. So um, I can't wait to see it in other colors because green looks good. But I can't I just I want to see what it looks like in other colors as well. So bring them on Hot Wheels bring them on.